Hey, uh, I'm Arif, aspiring experimentalist, CS at Purdue, hopeful applicant to KP. Um, and I wanted to give you a little tour of things I think are important. Uh, I didn't want to do a slideshow because I kind of suck at those, so I just wanted to give you a straight run through tour. Let's do the first thing, which is technical project that I care about. Uh, let's clear this out. Well, you kind of got a hint already, but um, this project is called AirDraw. What it is is that it's a drawing platform that allows you to interface with your computer with just a few clicks. And uh, it's pretty usable, and it's something that I made as a sophomore and didn't really care about until one day somebody came up to me with a PR. And what it was is that this guy liked my project, and the first demo I made was in Python. And so he, in order to let his kids draw on the wall, you know, as normal kids, uh, without just de destroying his uh, house, he wanted to actually put a projector up, have it on the screen, and allow them to just draw normally. And he uses software pretty much to just have a straight webcam stream and have the output. Um, he liked it so much that he added that feature you were just looking at. And it's, uh, it's this. You can white it out, and so you can interface with it really well. Why do I think this is important and I want to highlight it? It's because I'm just a normal college sophomore in rural Indiana. Yet somehow this guy in the middle of nowhere was able to say, hey, here's some software that it, that'll allow you to turn your webcam stream into something a little bit more useful. And someone halfway across the world, uh, I think in Spain? Yeah, in Andalusia, Spain, uh, found use for this for his kids. And it makes me realize that the software that I use can actually be useful and fill in a niche that no one could have ever predicted. And I do want to carry that theme forward in my life. Um, the other form of serendipity is that I built this thing in TypeScript that you're interacting with, airdraw.io. And um, this was actually the exact same tech stack I worked with at Tesla. And I couldn't have figured that out. Uh, it just kind of worked out for me. Number two, uh, underrated use case of AI. It's climate change simulation. Uh, in a word, um, this is what's happening in the Horn of Africa. There is barely any food being grown because they can't really predict uh, how, the, how to pick their seeds based on the way the climate's changing. I mean, they're pretty much suffering the consequences of a Western-fueled uh, climate destruction. And there's only a matter of time before it happens to us. And I think that these guys don't have the data or the tools in order to actually simulate crops and actually make a change. But here at Purdue, um, being in the middle of nowhere, Indiana, we have access to a lot of corn and a lot of research for it. Uh, this is Professor Tolbert and his son Evan, and Tolbert's magnum opus is this corn, this orange corn that's significantly better for you and better for the chickens and better for basically the whole food chain, right? America is really dependent on corn and um, technology like this is kind of what will allow us as people to survive the next climate change um, because it means that we'll get by on less food and it'll make us a lot more um, satiated easily. It'll help the whole food chain. So I do think AI to hopefully simulate um, either how A, climates will change or B, um, how crops will respond uh, in response to different climates, basically to simulate the process of experimenting with crops here. If we can speed that process up from a whole year out to just days or minutes, you know, you will get to this point where, you know, brilliant minds like um, Professor Tolbert are able to actually have a quick spin around and develop new crops in record time, pretty much. And that'll help pretty much everyone. Um, and so, yeah, I, I feel really strongly about this being in the Midwest and seeing it with my own eyes, how quickly uh, the food chain can be collapsed. Okay, um, and then last thing, quick things about me. Uh, I am someone, let's go back here. I'm someone who is told I'm a little bit too introspective. Um, I'm told by my parents that I'm a little bit too rebellious and I don't respect, oh, you know, we're, we're a conservative family. You're not doing this and that, or, you know, you're taking a job that's risky or things like that. Um, I'm someone who cares a lot about independent will and uh, making sure that I, I think for myself. Life is short and I'm growing up pretty fast. And so I care a lot about contributing to something that matters and also um, being somewhere where it actually succeeds based on whether or not I show up every day because that's what will make a difference, right? And so I want to say thank you for your time and thank you for watching this. If anything else, I just appreciate having this opportunity. KP is really cool. It invests in a lot of the technology. I mean, I'm recording this on a Mac right now that makes my life work. And so thanks for your time. Bye.